Hi, this is Shannon from SIS, the number four teachers.org. Thanks so much for joining us in this tutorial video on number bonds for multiplication and division. Do you remember having a giant stack of multiplication and division cards? If you counted it up, it felt like multiplication and division were isolated and separate things and we really didn't know why they were connected. I love using number bonds because children will understand number bonds in addition and subtraction and they can transfer that knowledge and their understanding as they're doing it with multiplication and division. We have two different options for Four number bond cards that we can show you. One of them is um, in a copy downloadable version. We have it for home or for school. This download comes with all of the number bond cards that you can print out on cardstock. We also have the directions for the cards in English and in Spanish. You would simply take the cards, copy them on cardstock, and have students cut them out. They could even keep it in a pouch in their classroom and kind of work on the different facts that they're looking at. I'm going to kind of show you the differences between these. So over here, we have the number bond cards that are copied on cardstock. They have a nice sided line where you simply can take the scissors and cut out the cards. You can come up with a known and an unknown pile where students are working with the different cards. If you laminate them, kids can actually write on them with the different parts of it. A lot of the cards do look, you know, different than you would maybe if you were looking at eight would be four and four if you're looking at an addition. Actually, this spot's going to say two. The other way that these are sold are also in a more of a, a consumable product where you are not necessarily um, needing to, to copy them every time. Sometimes you'll have cards that will have, you know, the total up here, and this is really asking you know, how many groups of nine are there in 81. So students would know that the spot here would be nine. These cards in the back actually have the answers in the back for kids to kind of check their answers if they were doing partner work. This one here is going to be a multiplication you know, statement. So eight groups of nine or nine groups of eight is 72. And so students can flip those over to look at them. So they kind of have the, you know, depending on how you're looking at it, the multiplication or the division that might go with it. So as we go back and kind of look for a second here, we can really look at different ideas that you might want to implement with these cards. So one person can hold up the card, each student can verbally respond, or even in writing, maybe they could even write a number sentence to represent it, depending if you want them to show maybe all the related facts that go with that particular number. So for example, here we have um, a three, and we want them to figure out the mystery, three times what equals six. So students might write the sentence three times two equals six. You also could do it where you have the the division as well. How many groups of three are there in six? We know there's two. Another idea is that students can work in a center, pull a card up with maybe the smaller um, products that you're working with. They could draw a picture to illustrate the number bond that they're seeing. So she might draw five groups of two hearts. So I see how many groups? Five. There's two in every group. So how many you know hearts do I see all together? I see ten. Another idea is you could work with pairs. One student could show the card, and the student viewing could tell a story that goes with that partner based on the number bond that they're seeing. So they could do it again for multiplication or division. In this case, it's a division um, sentence, but he might say Jane has nine crayons to share evenly with four friends. So he gave two crayons to each friend. You also could look at that in another way um, by you know getting kids to come up with a different story that might match the card that you might be working with. One of the things I love using is a buffet plate to kind of have kids write with dry erase marker, which I'll kind of show you in a minute. But one student could show, hold up the card and the student can respond individually or even quarterly with the missing part that might go in it. So for example, we have how many groups of seven go into 35 and kids could respond five. Or one person could hold the card and each student could write the missing part on an individual whiteboard or in a plastic plate. So let's take a look at this plastic plate as an example. This would kind of be our, you know, our full product here. And we're kind of looking what those two factors would be. So if I had, you know, 35, I love to use dry erase marker on these because you can see them and they wipe off really easy and they're very easy to store, pretty durable. You can go to the dollar store or even at a, you know, at a grocery store. So I put the seven, now students are over here and they hold this up. Kids have to hold up when they know the other part to show that bond that goes together. So I know that if I did it anyway, if I, and you could write out the division multiplication sentences, so how many groups of seven are in 35? There's five. How many groups of five 
are in 35, we know that there's seven. Five groups of seven, we know equals 35. So in this way, kids can really look at that idea and get it set up. As we look at the ending part, it's kind of the option of what works best for you in your classroom. We have the downloadable version and the purchasable part where you can have the actual you know, hard good in your classroom. A lot of our classrooms have five sets of the hard good um, you know, number bond cards to use for different activities, and then we always make the student download one. You can find those on our website at sis4teachers.org backslash shop. And we can't wait to hear about all the great things that you're doing.